Greetings, defenders of this backwater planet. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Anomaly Eldritch Guards. Episode 7, Mountain Scullery. So Mikas is almost done with proximity detection. Um, I suppose I'll start pulling for the next option. So we have void provocation, uh, biofera harvesting, or electro harvesting. That would be the choices. So electro harvesting or electro harvester is a way to generate electricity from uh, entities, depending on their body size and their um, their uh, uh, bioferrite density. So as you can see here, like a sight stealer is size 0.8. They're slightly smaller than a, a person, but they have the double bioferrite density. Um, so their final value is 1.6. So that 1.6 barrel bioferrite generation is the modifier for power generation, for bioferrite harvesting, all those things. So then if we take a look at the tough spike, uh, the tough spike is a two. Uh, they have a body size of one and a, a density of 200%. So um, those are important factors to consider when you're trying to generate power or uh, resources from uh, captured entities. If you're wondering what biofarite is, biofarite is essentially the material that is entities are made out of, which um, it's also the material that allows you to make stronger containment facilities. Um, and then also to do a lot of those sort of like rituals. Uh, most of the rituals we're not going to really be using because they're kind of evil, which is not our thing. But um, some of the rituals uh, will still require it. A lone figure is approaching Colony. Who wants to talk? You can send a colonist to hear what he has to say. Oh, Dragonov. Well, you know, you're what, named after a sniper rifle or something? Uh, too smart, abrasive, ascetic, and occultist. Kepler Dragonov. Those are interesting name you got there. Bioferrite harvesting has won by a few votes. I am really surprised that we haven't had food poisoning yet from our, like, horrible kitchen. So your pain's going away. And a royal tribute collector. Well, I don't really have any royal tribute. Uh, sea Panda, once I tend to you... Oh, you're already being tended. Uh, let's go out and talk to Dragonoff. Because I do believe that chat's going to have a decision to make. The strange figure keeps muttering about some scientific breakthrough. All he needs is a laboratory. If you let him stay, he will share his vast knowledge with you. It's hard to tell whether he's insane or a genius or both. He is deeply knowledgeable about all things related to the Void... He can study unnatural phenomena faster than others and will also teach others when he gets the chance. He may be very useful, but you also something uh, you also sense that there's something Dragonov is not telling you. So I can allow him to join or send him away. And Scorpio, thanks for the gifted subs. Cheers. And again, it's um, worth noting, um, I did hit the macro of uh, no spoilers, but yeah, no spoilers. If you're wondering, I have played, uh, I've played this, uh, the DLC to completion already, so you're not spoiling it for me, 
but you would definitely be spoiling it for other people who have not played through completion, which I suspect is most of you. So um, if you know who he is or what he is, uh, keep it to yourself. All right, see Panda, uh, after you attempt to recruit shield, we are gonna go back to Dragonoth. Proximity detector is done. We're gonna go to Bioferrite Harvesting. Your prison cell sucks, I'm sorry about that. Okay. He has come with a charge lance. Oh, that's a little scary. Um, he doesn't believe in our ideology. He is an occultist. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on dark study and research. I'm not going to let him prepare our foods. And oops, there we go. And of course, Raffle first name. So, good luck. I am not going to be giving a shield up for tribute. Uh, although, um, any tribute is sort of against our ideology. Uh, so we are not gaining honor through tribute as slavery is abhorrent and selling slaves is prohibited. In fact, I'm actually surprised that, um, I'm curious if I, yeah, I literally can't. I, I suppose if Dragonoff talked to them, I could, but, uh, I won't be doing that for rather glaringly obvious reasons. That is a hideous environment. Maybe I can, um, I can fix it up for you. All right. We're not going to bother cleaning anything out there, even though there's a cable. For now, I think I'm going to go just concrete flooring. It's more affordable and consider nicer flooring uh, when I can afford it later on. Oh, good. I wasn't in the wooden cabin again. I'm sort of expecting it to be. Mikus, this is far beneath your pay grade, but I'm going to have you do some cleaning because Ink is really not enjoying his time as like in the muck and mire of this place. See, Panda, how far along is uh, 11? Oh, almost single digits. That's pretty good. Uh, Dragonoff, do you sleep? You know, I think... No, I want you to be, uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, so the butchery room is just about done. Shield's finally healed. If you and you don't have scars, so you're not going to be in pain. So it's a crappy little um, 
prison cell. I can uh, make it nicer for you. Can't really do anything about the heat, because either the fire's on or the fire's off, and I think you'd rather have it on. And then once this is built, I will slowly... Well, there goes Azrun. I'll slowly um, migrate things from here down there. Probably setting this up as a barracks for now. And then, um, obviously, like a, a kitchen, dining room, something. But having the space is going to be wonderful, I think. Whoa, okay. Yeah, don't bother trying to convert him. It won't work. Save the cooldowns. All right, that was the giveaway timer. Good luck. Oh, boy. All right, I don't speak Polish. Uh, if you want to change your name to something that I can pronounce, feel free. But I'm going to call you Keisha? <laughs> I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, so I'm sorry. Or no, you just like, yeah, well, you tell me what you want to be called. All right, Sea Panda, you are building the walls. Good. And Mikus is cleaning up. So let's do butchery stockpile. We'll move that. Stick it in here. And move. Ooh, that's the wall lamp. Move the actual butchery too. And don't worry, I, I know we're not ACing this yet. It, hell, it's not even enclosed yet. But I don't have any corpses for the butchery anyway, so it's kind of moot. Calling you kitty would be easier? Oh god, you're a kitty occultist? Okay. Oh boy. You just want to research the occult to figure out how to breed people with kitty ears, don't you? I'm now on to you. room came together rather quickly. Uh, as far as bioferret harvesting, we haven't gotten very far. If you were wondering, if you wanted an update. merchant uh yeah sea panda go talk to them because i have some weapons all of a sudden weird how that works all right. i don't need pemmican and i don't need this crap In fact, we don't even like using Neolithic weapons, so the, just the act of using them would upset us. I am... Oh, yeah, we really need herbal meds, 
So as much as I want to hold on to my silver, um, we don't know how to plant this yet. Maybe when we recruit shield, that will be different. But for now, I need to, I need to think about the welfare of my group and buy medicine. No dark spots. Good. And then the migration of sandstone shelves. So first the electric stove. I'm going to put the stove next to the door where the dining will be. So if dining is here, let's assume it is. Um, that wall light is a bad spot. Well, no, maybe not. I think what I'll do is I'll put this here. I'm also going to set it up for nutrient paste as well. Um, so I'm going to move this wall light and then configure the dining room potentially for nutrient paste as we don't mind nutrient paste. So it's, it's, uh, an acceptable food source. But I'm not going to invest time into building it until Nutrient Paste wins and for things to build. Slept in the cold. Yeah, it's cold. Is it worth selling the AO? Uh, I could have. We don't have any specific ideological beliefs against um, drugs. You are done cleaning. Tough spike, what you got for me? Nice. I am, I lied. I'm going to litter up the, the hallways because I'm tired of running back and forth. Warped obelisk. A mysterious obelisk crash nearby. The obelisk hums with a putrid psychic energy, gradually intensifying as it approaches some dangerous limit. You can send colonists to suppress the obelisk to prevent it from activating. You can also mark the obelisk for study to try to learn its purpose and perhaps make use of it. Study and suppress. Did you? Okay. we are wondering if it actually does damage the mountain or not. Okay. Uh, wow, that was quick. Um, investigation of the obelisk has revealed some information. It is an uh, arco-technological device that seems to interact with organic creatures at a distance. It probably, it is uh, probably a piece of a much larger architect structure that was destroyed or broken apart long ago. The machinery at its core is inhumanly complex and frighteningly powerful. Its purpose and method of action remains totally mysterious. If not suppressed, its activity level will increase over time. You can't tell what will happen when the device fully activates. But it is giving advanced uh, research. So I don't... The, uh, so I'm going to pause just a second and explain. Uh, the way this works is there's two types of anomaly research. There's basic research, which is this gray section. And then there's advanced research, which is this red section. And... You can have two different projects active at a time. 
And because this is advanced research, I'm not going to study it. Um, there really isn't... Well, no, I am going to study it. Uh, to per perhaps disable it. But we're not actually gaining any research off of it as a result. So, one could make the argument it's a waste of time, but in role-playing, we want to deactivate these things, so it makes sense to study it to turn it off. As it's potentially dangerous. All right, shield's finally getting a little bit of a prison makeover. It's a weird place to put it. And then he doesn't want to eat meat, but like, that's tough. At least he's going to be slightly happier there. So the finishing touches here should be done soon. Uh, Kitty, what is going on with you? Disturbed sleep? Yeah, well, we live in a barracks. Get used to it. That was a very short solar flare. Does the advanced research pool? Uh, I don't believe so, no. So it, it as I said, is not uh, any real advantage to me. Kitty, you are punching me? That's not so cool. We did try to convert you, but you know what? You, you signed up for that. It's who we are at our core. We're loyalists. Oh, I just used real meds on you. That sucks. Did not mean to. Noticed too late. The big move. Moving all the shelving down. Why not move the urn to make it look less odd? Sure, I'll put it inside. It's temporary. I wasn't really spending any time, energy, or effort on it as a result. That is crazy how far we're going to cook. You can just leave it on the ground. I'm gonna start micromanaging so they um, do tasks a little bit more efficiently. So, I think it is time to migrate. So I'm going to start moving the bedding down. And that uh, initial wooden shack can just sort of, you know, go to ruin. For now, because we haven't voted on b uh, bedrooms or barracks or whatever, uh, we'll just sleep in the lab. All right, I'm tired of making this stupid run for food, so stop. And we'll have a dispenser 
Well, if the dispenser is there, I'm going to want to move the um, the stove so it doesn't overlap in the same zone. The dispenser there. So these here, these chunks need to be cut and get out of the way. Uh, I'll start that. Hey, Jamaican soup. Thanks for the sub. Okay, the kitchen is all set. It's so cold right now that I don't even really need to turn on the AC. It's the correct temperature already. Uh, there's going to be a lot of effort in, like, migrating everything. But then once it's migrated, uh, life will get a lot more efficient. I hadn't really approached this with the concept of doing a mountain base, but since you voted on it, I'll lean lean in and commit to it. Oh. Really? Dang. Uh, okay. Because he's wimpy he went down real fast. Noted. Time to get you something warm. Another tail cap, perhaps? Out of heavy fur? But hover around the, the warmth for now. Oh, well, not with Molotov cocktails. Here, just stand there. Yeah, you're just gonna you're just gonna faint again. It's cold, and he's a he's a genie, so his uh, temperature tolerance is not as wide as the rest of us. That should help. Negative eighteen. Yep, that will help. Don't forget, forget about his gear. Yeah, I'm going to let him sleep, though. I mean, the, the SMG is not going to get destroyed overnight. That takes days. All right, Panda, you can also go to sleep. But it looks like you're also getting hypothermic, so it's time to give up our lovely, um, our lovely helmets. Well, that's not true of uh, Ink, the Marine. So we'll do one. You came with a toque, so you're actually okay. Plus, you're sleeping in there. So we'll do one more tail cap. Mysterious Cargo. Um, Commander Eugenia of the White Dominion has an odd request. She would like us to accept some unspecified cargo. When pressed for more details, she avoids the question. The book is a bioferrite harvesting book, which causes mental breaks as well. This book is a rec gain book and a gene pack for super heal. And then plasteel and advanced component. Do we accept the mysterious cargo? How long did she say? Two days? Okay. So we don't have to decide right now. While fair harvesting is done. Uh, so I'm going to queue up Void Provocation just so that we actually are getting something. And then at the end of this poll, I'll have you guys pick the next one. I just didn't want wasted research.
Oh, wow. Uh, that's already done. Okay. Um, Electro Harvester, then. A doe self-tamed. That's unfortunate for the doe. And see, Panda, you have a new tail cap to keep you warm. All right, Kitty's pulled out of the funk. That's good. Kitty, you should put the toque back on. Especially if you're going out studying stuff. Oh, you made yet another tail cap. Uh, so the tail cap for this is 32, which probably exceeds the toque considerably. 16. Yeah, all right, tail cap for you too. And possibly even for ink if it continues to get cold. All the flak jackets are decently insulating. Wreck unfulfilled. All right, we can fix that. Deliver, deliver, deliver. All right. You guys want the mysterious cargo? So I will accept in just a second. Um, no, no, no. Oh, so we're... Yeah, let's deliver food. I feel bad. We've been a bad warden. Been so busy trying to move and all. I'll talk to you, but yeah, you're gonna flip me off for starving you, so. Deservedly. 3.4 resistance left. It's life is gonna get easier for him once he joins. Kitty's meal palsy uh is lavish, but lavish includes simple. So that's not an issue. Combat supplier. Cool. All right, everybody is getting some rest. I don't really have any combat gear to sell. And then as soon as they're up, I'll accept the mysterious cargo, whatever it might be. So if your recreation is unfulfilled, go fulfill it. And if you're awake, oh, so the reward that we want, what reward? One, two, or three. And while you guys vote on this, I am going to be right back. All right. You guys want reward number one by small margin. Very small margin. All right, cargo down. The mysterious cargo has been delivered. It is a simple cube that shines like gold, but is impossible to scratch. It is light and warm to the touch. The way light plays across its surface is captivating. Sea Panda feels inexplicably drawn to the, uh, the cube. So, cube curiosity. Got it. Um, so I have played this before. Oh, uh, before I get into the, uh, discussion, thank you for the, uh, the raid. Playing Fortnite. Oh, interesting. Very different than what I'm up to. But, uh, what, what brings you my way? Uh, out of curiosity. 
And for you raiders, here's some details about what I'm doing right now. But, uh, so having played before, I, uh, you're, you're welcome for the raid. Um, I sort of ha I, I, I know what to expect out of this, uh, this, uh, let's just say the person that gave me the cube gave me the cube for a good, good reason. So, um, yeah. See, Panda. You are going to move your bed. And then you are going to haul the cube. I'm going to create another zone. I'm going to call this zone Ink and Mikus. Invert and restrict. New research available. Pleasure Pulse. Uh, so, Pleasure Pulse is a advanced research. So we're starting to actually get some advanced research options here. Advanced psychic rituals and uh, phylophagy, which is. Um, a way to drain people's psychic sensitivity or uh, skills rather and pleasure pulse which is like uh like a psychic soother but as a ritual so i'm queuing that up uh, i did also mean to have you guys vote on what research we do there's a lot of options here i want to preface however prior to offering these options that a lot of these uh a lot of these options sort of assume that you're going to use the void as uh, as cultists like skip abduction for instance which is not something that we will ever do we don't abduct people we're here to help the planet so uh just keep that in mind so i'll, I'll offer up the options and i'll describe them um but that's not to say that they're going to be particularly useful to us although it's helpful i think trying to contain the threat to understand it Meaning that everything probably should be researched, but not necessarily utilized, which is an important difference. So we have a ritual that deadens the target psychic sensitivity and boosts the invokers. So psychophagy. It's going to take me a second to type all these up, by the way. Um, then we have skip abduction. Which... Uh, pulls an enemy as a ritual and delivers them to you. Uh, then we have draw animals, which is really just a very passive summoning animals, unless you screw up the ritual and then they're like manhuntered. Uh, we have void structures. So void structures is a way to make sure that uh, it's, it's a thing that you can build to increase the effectiveness of your rituals. Uh, we have bliss lobotomy which is exactly what it sounds like. You lobotomize people, make them happy. Uh, we have biofire shaping. Uh, it is worth noting biofire shaping leads to biofire weaponry, which is the Hellcat rifle, which is an assault rifle with a fire burst and the incinerator. Um, it does require you to get precision rifling as well as a requirement, but one leads to the other, right? So biofire shaping on its own allows you to make biofarate plates, which is a better containment. Um, and then some some ritual stuff that we wouldn't use. Um, next would be sleep suppressor. Which is a air of effect device that um, prevents you from being tired, but it's irritating. Um, and then we could uh, continue with electro harvester. What simple anomaly research do we do? Because this is not, we're not doing advanced right now, because the only advanced one I have access to is the advanced psychic rituals. But the Electro Harvester 
uh, leads to the biofarite generator, which takes biofarite as a fuel and generates an enormous amount of power. And then you even have the atmospheric heater too, which uh, warms the entire region. Uh, so hypothetically, uh, extending grow seasons if we really want to get crazy. All right, so there are your options as explained and feel free to vote. I'm going to continue with the electro harvesting, but if you want to change your decision, feel free. The mysterious cargo quest is complete, so we get the advanced components delivered. Let's see Panda. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Eldritch Guards, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 13th and April 14th as a marathon, but not a miniseries, which means this series will continue sometime in the near future. If you have any feedback or questions, let me know in the comments below, but please no spoilers for the people reading the comments. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Radamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. And if you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord or Patreon, links can be found in the description. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Eldritch Guards.